Hello everyone and welcome to our training center here at Fastems headquarters in Tampere, Finland. My name is Eero Siirila and I am also a product manager for MMS. And today I have been given the great pleasure and opportunity to talk to you about our new MMS module called Fixture Resource Management. This is a brand new software module that has been designed specifically for high mix, low volume production environments that is using flexible work holdings. But before we go any further, let's head down to our loading station and take a look of a pallet that actually has this kind of flexible work holding functionality. All right, so what we have here is a machining pallet with zero point clampings functionality. So this pallet here consists of this base element here that has a locking mechanism that works with either air pressure or hydraulics, depending on the model. And then we have these detachable plates where the work holding would be mounted to. So in this kind of setup, changing between fixtures is extremely fast as we don't have to disassemble the whole pallet we can simply remove this work holding plate here and replace it with another one. So next up, I'll give you a short demo to remove it. All right, so first we put the air in, release the clamping and boom, the plate is off. So normally the work holding would be assembled on top of this plate. And when we are changing to a different part in our production, we will be just changing to a different plate that has different work holding. So changing from part A to B is extremely fast and easy. So normally in MMS, this would be just one fixture, but this new module allows us to make fixture assemblies. So we would have a separate base fixture for this background plate with the locking system, and then a separate part fixture for this detachable work holding element here. And then MMS will be providing information which base fixtures are compatible with which part fixtures. On top of these fixture assemblies, we are also able to track fixture inventories. So then we will be able to see when these part fixtures are in an inventory cell somewhere in the shop floor or in a material pallet somewhere in the FMS storage system. In addition to these fixture assemblies and fixture inventories, MMS will be providing more information for the end user about utilization of the fixtures. For example, if in the next 72 hours of scheduling in the production, we have pallets that have unused fixtures on them, MMS will be hinting to the end user that, okay, these pallets could be re-equipped with fixtures that are actually being used in the production. So with this, we are able to achieve higher mix of products with less amount of pallets as we are using the actual pallets when they are actually needed. Then MMS is going to be working as an advisor. So we will be not forcing any fixture changes. So the end user will have the responsibility of the decision making. We will be just providing more information to help in that process. So to sum things up, this module has specifically been designed for high mix, low volume production environment, where we have a frequent need to change fixtures and work holding. And the aim of this module is to allow a higher mix of parts with less amount of pallets. And uh, this will allow MMS to create fixture assemblies of part fixtures and base fixtures. And also we will be able to track fixture instances and fixture inventories on the shop floor. And uh, MMS will be providing useful information for the end users of the utilization of the system and like said, MMS is going to be working as an advisor. We will be not forcing any fixture changes. So we will be just providing better information to support you on your daily production. And this is a module specific functionality. So deliveries that doesn't include this module, the fixture management will be working as in previous MMS versions. 
and this is a brand new MMS module so we will be improving its functionality on the upcoming releases based on our own research and internal and external feedback. We are also doing research in-house how to use machine learning and AI in optimizing the fixtures in production. So stay tuned about news from this topic.